White House is unveiling new rules for searching computers, laptops and other electronic devices when people enter the United States. The Department of Homeland Security says the measure is needed to detect information about potential terror plots, as well as copyright infringement and child pornography. Civil liberties groups have criticized the measure. For more, let's now cross uh, live to RT's Priya Shrida, who is in Washington. Hello, Priya. Over to you now. Hi there. Well, border security has always been a major issue in the United States. And in the recession, many communities are cracking down on illegal immigration. The Department of Homeland Security has amped up their efforts to protect the border. And now Border Patrol is going beyond just simple searches. Immigration and customs officials have now also been authorized to search people's laptops and electronic devices. The Obama administration recently announced new rules regarding these searches. But many say that this is a major violation of people's civil liberties. Well, joining me to discuss this is Harley Geiger from the Center of Technology and Democracy. Harley, thank you so much for joining me. First of all, if you could just tell me what do you make of these searches? Do you think that this is a violation of people's civil liberties? Well, you can make the argument both ways. Uh, what Customs and Border Protection is doing is legal because Americans have a diminished expectation of privacy at the border. Uh, however, when they search laptops or PDAs or cell phones, it actually reveals an enormous amount of information about ourselves, our personal lives, our financial records, our relationships, uh, medical history, etc. And these are the things that the Fourth Amendment was designed to protect, and now it's being subverted in the name of national security. So there's an argument to be made both ways. And I know that you guys recently uncovered new rules regarding these searches, and maybe the policy has changed a little bit. Have, can you talk a little bit about that? Well, there was uh, FOIA litigation, Freedom of Information Act litigation through EFF, and uh, they had uncovered n rules that had been changed in 2007, actually. Uh, so it's not announced under the Obama administration that these are new. It was just uncovered that this was the policy. Um, but the policy had changed in 2007. Now there is no suspicion required whatsoever uh, for federal agents at the border to search your laptops or your electronic devices and to copy the material that is on them. Previously, prior to 2007 and since 1986, uh, they required reasonable suspicion to detain a laptop or an electronic device and probable cause to seize or copy it. Now those protections are gone, except they still need probable cause to seize it, and they need reasonable suspicion to share it for, with another federal agency like the NSA or the CIA, which they will do if they need to decrypt it or they need help understanding the contents. And what exactly are they looking for? I mean, can they look through these laptops and get your email and look through your Facebook accounts or something like that? I mean, what are they trying to prevent by doing these searches? They can get anything that is on those electronic devices. Now, electronic devices is very broad. It includes MP3 players. So they can look through the music files on your MP3 player if they want to. Yes, they can look through your Facebook profile. They can look through any file that is on those, on those devices. Uh, what they're looking for, generally, they're looking for anything. Uh, anything that indicates that a crime has been committed. Uh, more specifically, they're looking for child pornography. They're looking for uh, evidence uh, that the person trying to cross the border is not who he or she says that they are, um, that he or she might be a terrorist, or that he or she is lying about their immigration status. Um, so it's a very, very broad search. Well, it's certainly a very interesting debate, and we'll be sure to keep you updated on any other efforts by the Department of Homeland Security regarding border security. But for now, back to you in Moscow. Thanks. That's Artis Priya Shridhar talking with Harley Giger from the Center for Democracy and Technology.